Samsung's One UI 7.0 update has faced delays, leading to a surprising change in the company's software update plans. Reports indicate that Samsung might completely skip One UI 7.1 and One UI 7.11, jumping directly to One UI 8.0. This move is unexpected, as Samsung typically follows a structured release cycle, offering incremental updates before rolling out a major version. But why is this happening? One of the main reasons behind this decision appears to be timing. Google is reportedly launching Android 16 earlier than usual, leaving Samsung with less time to develop and test multiple software versions. Instead of dividing resources between One UI 7.1, One UI 7.11, and One UI 8.0, the company seems to be focusing on bringing One UI 8.0 faster. This change could impact Samsung's upcoming foldable devices, including the Galaxy Z Flip 7, Galaxy Z Fold 7, and the rumored dual folding phone. These devices may either ship with One UI 7.0 or skip directly to One UI 8.0, bypassing the intermediate versions entirely. One UI 7.0 made its debut with the Galaxy S25 series last month and has since expanded to some newly released mid-range devices, including the Galaxy M0 65G, Galaxy M16, Galaxy A36, and Galaxy A56. However, many of Samsung's premium smartphones from last year, such as the Galaxy S24, Galaxy Z Flip 6, and Galaxy Z Fold 6 are still waiting for the update. This delay has left users questioning when they will receive the latest software improvements. To address this, Samsung is reportedly preparing to expand its One UI 7.0 beta program to more devices. Rumors suggest that models like the Galaxy S23, Galaxy Z Flip 6, Galaxy Z Fold 6, and Galaxy A55 will be included in the beta testing phase later this month. If this happens, it could indicate that the stable rollout of One UI 7.0 for older models might begin as early as April 2025. Skipping minor updates might sound unusual, but it could actually be a strategic decision. By moving directly to One UI 8.0, Samsung may be aiming to keep pace with Google's faster Android release schedule. This could lead to fewer updates overall, but with more meaningful changes each time. However, some users might worry that skipping these updates could mean missing out on important improvements or refinements that Samsung typically introduces in incremental versions. One major concern is how this change will affect the stability and features set of One UI. Normally, smaller updates help refine the user experience and fix any issues before a major release. By skipping One UI 7.1 and One UI 7.11, Samsung is taking a different approach. One that could either streamline the update process or create further delays if One UI 8.0 requires more extensive testing. For users waiting for One UI 7.0, this situation may be frustrating, but it could also mean that Samsung is focusing on delivering a better, more future-proof experience. Is the Galaxy A36 the best mid-range phone of the year? Samsung has officially launched the device alongside the Galaxy A26 and Galaxy A56, and it comes with some solid upgrades. A better selfie camera, faster charging, and six major software updates make it a tempting option. But is it worth considering over its competitors? The Galaxy A36 comes with a 6.7-inch Super AMOLED Infinity O display. It has a full HD Plus resolution, a smooth 120Hz refresh rate, and a peak brightness of 1,200 nits. This means the screen stays clear even in bright sunlight, and the higher refresh rate makes scrolling feel smooth. Samsung has also included an in-display optical fingerprint reader and stereo speakers for a more premium experience. One of the key changes is the design. The Galaxy A30 sticks is lighter than its predecessor, the Galaxy A35, despite having a slightly bigger screen. It weighs just 195 grams and is slimmer at 7.4 millimeters. To add durability, Samsung has used Gorilla Glass Victus Plus to protect the display from scratches and minor drops. The phone is also rated IP67 for dust and water resistance, meaning it can survive splashes and brief submersion in water. Under the hood, Samsung has upgraded the processor to the Snapdragon 6 Gen 3. Built on Samsung's 4 nanometer process, this chip has four Cortex A78 cores running at 2.4 GHz and four Cortex A55 cores at 1.8 GHz. Samsung claims it is around 8% faster than the Exynos 1380 used in the Galaxy A35. This should translate to better performance in daily tasks, gaming, and multitasking. The phone comes with either 6GB or 8GB of RAM and offers 128GB or 256GB of internal storage. However, there's no microSD card slot, so users won't be able to expand storage later. 
Samsung's software support has been a major selling point, and the Galaxy A36 is no exception. It ships with Android 15 and One UI 7.0, and Samsung has promised six major Android updates and security support for six years. This means the phone will eventually get Android 21, making it one of the longest supported mid-range devices in the market. The camera setup has also seen some improvements. The Galaxy A36 features a triple camera system on the back, consisting of a 50 megapixel primary sensor with optical image stabilization, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a 5 megapixel macro camera. But the most interesting upgrade is the selfie camera. Samsung has replaced last year's 13 megapixel sensor with a new 12 megapixel front camera, the same one used in the Galaxy S24 series. Both the front and rear cameras can record 4K videos at 30 frames per second in 10 bit Super HDR, which helps capture better details and colors in bright and dark areas. In terms of connectivity, the Galaxy A36 comes with all the expected features, including 5G, LTE, Wi Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, NFC, and a USB Type C port. 2025 might be the year of ultra slim smartphones, with big brands racing to create the thinnest flagship device. Samsung has already teased the Galaxy S25 Edge, expected to launch in April, while Apple is working on the iPhone 17 Air, set to arrive later this year. But surprisingly, a lesser known brand might actually outshine them both in the slim smartphone competition. Just ahead of MDVC 2025, one of the biggest tech events in the world, Chinese brand Techno, has revealed the Spark Slim, which claims to be the world's thinnest smartphone. What makes it even more impressive is that it packs a 5,200 mAh battery while being just 5.75 mm thick. On top of that, it features dual 50 megapixel cameras, making it a strong contender in the ultra thin category. However, there's a big catch the Spark Slim is still just a concept. While Techno plans to showcase demo units and MVVC, there's no official launch date, and there's a real chance this phone may never hit store shelves. If history is any indication, many concept devices don't always make it to production. For example, Techno's ultra-thin tri-fold phone from last year was an exciting reveal, but it never became a real, commercially available product. Still, the specifications of the Spark Slim are impressive. It features a 6.78-inch AMOLED display with curved edges, offering a sharp 1,224 resolution and a smooth 144 hertz refresh rate. The screen is also said to be incredibly bright, reaching a peak of 4,500 nits, which is higher than most flagship devices. The front camera is a 13-megapixel sensor placed within a small punch hole cutout. Inside, the 4.04mm thick battery supports 45-watt fast charging, and while the camera bump does add some thickness, a phone remains impressively compact overall. At just 5.75 millimeters thick, this device is an engineering achievement, especially considering its battery size. For comparison, the upcoming Galaxy S25 Edge is rumored to be around 6 millimeters thick and will likely feature a 4,000 mAh battery. That means Techno has managed to fit a significantly larger battery in a thinner design, which raises the question, how did they do it? The answer lies in advancements in battery technology, specifically the use of silicon carbon batteries. This new battery type allows for higher energy density while keeping the overall size compact. A similar approach was seen in the OM Plus 13, which used silicon carbon technology to fit a massive 6,000 mAh battery without making the phone too bulky. By using this innovation, Technito has managed to push the limits of smartphone design, at least in terms of what's possible on paper. Meanwhile, Apple's upcoming iPhone 17 Air is also expected to be one of the thinnest smartphones ever, with reports suggesting it could measure around 5.5 millimeters at its thinnest point. However, Apple is unlikely to include a battery as large as Techno's Spark Slim. Apple's focus has always been on optimizing software efficiency rather than just increasing battery size. 